Today, I've got potentially what could be one of the biggest stories in film photography in years, and that's the potential announcement of a brand new color film coming from Harman in the coming weeks. Now, over the past month, I've been looking at all the forum posts, all the Instagram posts, all the links, and trying to read the tea leaves and get to the bottom of what's going on here. So today, in this video, we're gonna review everything and see where that leaves us. So this announcement is coming from Harman Photo. Well, who is Harman Photo and why do we care? Harman is a company that started in the UK in the 1800s and it existed for a while before the Ilford name was employed. Ilford continued to grow through the 1900s until digital photography came about and caused problems for everybody. That sent Ilford into administration in 2004 and 2005. In 2005, Harman Technology was formed. At the same time, Harman Technologies acquired the factories, the patents, all the intellectual property, everything that went along with Ilford in their administration. And per their website, they say that today the company has a comprehensive service offering contract coding, converting, warehousing, and distribution, as well as ongoing advances in new applications for silver halide technology in sectors such as biomedical research and nanotechnology through world-class R&D function and a commitment to innovation, and that's all wonderful. So that brings us up to speed. Harman Technology is the parent company of Ilford Photo and Harman Photo which is a brand new Instagram account and new branding that we're starting to see related to these new announcements. And that brings us to just last month on Instagram when Harman Photo posted a little bit of a tease. On October the 20th, 2023, Harman Photo posted the following, something exciting is coming. And you can see from this post, it's basically a silhouette of a phoenix. At the time, that didn't mean too much. Harman Photo was a company we hadn't really heard anything from before, and it wasn't really clear what they could be teasing. A lot of times in the past, we've been hopped up about one thing or the other when companies try these kind of viral marketing strategies only to be let down. Uh, a new developer or a new chemical being brought to market, which are all good and fine. But I think the film photography community, we want something more. We want a new camera. We want new films. We want a color film, you know, something exciting. But this was the first tell that something was afoot. And then someone was astute enough to figure out that Harmon Ilford had been doing some intellectual property, trademarking and copywriting. Shout out to Cinestill. And this is what they found. Filing date, 8th of August, 2023, the Harman Phoenix trademark. The general category of photographic film, paper, and plates all being unexposed. Unexposed, sensitized photographic films, strips of sensitized photographic film, unexposed. Unexposed color photographic films, unexposed cinemagraphic films, unexposed camera film, photographic developers, photographic sensitizers, photographic materials, films unexposed, chemical preparation substances, all for use in photosensitive materials. So that doesn't really tell us all that much. That sounds like they're trademarking a slew of photographic products there, but one that was really interesting specifically for Harman was color photographic films. And that's what's really got people excited. Those of us who are shooting film right now are well familiar with Ilford's portfolio of excellent, affordable black and white film stocks, but there isn't any color Color film on offer from them yet. So at this point, we've got the Instagram post from Harman, and then we've got the Phoenix trademarks. What could this potentially mean? Let's look at a few more things. And if you go to Instagram and you search the hashtag Harman photo, you see several of these postcards, and I'm going to post one up here for you to see. And it's again that same grayscale silhouette Phoenix. And it's interesting to see the folks that have received these. Folks like Nico Lazera and Analog Wonderland and 35MC. And they all have something in their posts. Something exciting is coming. They're talking about this tease. Um, they're so excited to share the details. But one in particular is very exciting. And this was from the Instagram Silver Grain Classics. Again, posting that same postcard. One of the amazing parts of our job is to get these amazing things to test. It's really exciting. Read about it in Silver Grain Classics issue 21. And again, they had that same card posted there as well. So it sounds like they're gonna have a full discussion of this new product in their next issue. And on Harmon's Instagram, they have confirmed that this isn't a collaboration with anyone else. It's whatever this product is to be, it's gonna be something of their own manufacture. They're not getting Kodak to make it. They're not getting Fuji to make it. It's something they're gonna be making in house. And like I said, they confirmed that on their Instagram. And another really interesting piece of information, this comes from an episode of Nico's Photography Show specifically titled A Talk with Ilford. And shout out to Nico, he's got a great channel, always keeping us up to date with the latest stuff going on in the hobby. But the person in that interview was Giles Brainwaith, sales and marketing director at Harmon. And he responded to a question from Nico and said, yeah, we're investing, we're investing. I can't disclose the projects or products we're investing in at this stage. They're not at the level we can do that yet. But of course, we have the R&D department. We're investing through the R&D department. We're investing in our manufacturing as well. We're just investing multi-millions into new production capabilities. That's the first time we've been able to say that in decades, literally decades. 
So that's all good news. It sounds like they are making significant investments into new projects and products. So, and continuing on with the tea leaves, there are so many of these at this point. Uh, Ian Grant mentioned on Saturday, the 4th of November, that Ilford Harmon would be shutting down for upgrades to their lines. And this comes from a post on photorio.com. They have an extensive thread there discussing these same rumors and speculation. Um, Pentax user emailed Harmon asking whether the whole thing was genuine and received a confirmation that it was from Matt Perry, who's the head of marketing at Harmon. He said, as you've seen, we are sending this new product out to testers, content creators, etc., ahead of launch, and they were allowed to share the news that something exciting is coming, the postcard you reference. But the other information, such as the product itself, is under embargo. This is so that they have time to test the product and create content, but also so that we have time to finish making the product, communicate with our distributor and retail network, ship the product around the world so that it's in stores on launch day, build a new website, etc., etc. So again, from Matt Perry, the head of marketing at Harmon, it really sounds like they're confirming that something big is coming. I mean, they're rebuilding their website, they're, they're getting this product in the hands of folks. It sounds like they're really, really making a strong marketing push here. So whatever it is, it's gonna be pretty big. And this came from the Harmon Photo Instagram account who had reposted a post from the Expired Film Club, who is an influencer and shop owner, which was a selfie with the caption, shooting something seriously exciting at Harmon Photo today. So again, teasing something big's coming. And, and bringing us up to date, the kind of the last domino to fall, and, th and this is as of November the 11th when I'm recording this video, and this was that there would be a Harmon Photo meetup and this is on December the 1st and 2nd, 2023, at the Darkroom facilities. And it was interesting to see some of the folks that were invited to this meetup. Several prominent film photography influencers were invited. Bad Flashes, Granny Days, Grain Check, King Japes, some of the biggest names in the film photography influencer space, all gonna be at the darkroom with Harmon Photo at that meetup. So, so that's really cool as well. And it's important for me to point out at this point, before I get too much deeper in discussing this, I don't have any sort of inside information. I didn't get a postcard. I wasn't invited to any of this stuff. All that I'm doing here is looking at the information that's on the internet and speculating. So take everything in this video with a whole shaker of salt. So where does this leave us? Well, I think it's important for me to point out at this point in the video that I didn't get a card from Harmon, but I think that if you look at all these lists of developments, everything that's happened, all the teases, all the posts from the influencers, the rebuilding the website, the, the discussions that have came from the folks at Harmon themselves, it sounds like something pretty big is about to happen. And I have to say that if this is a new color film product, specifically a color film product that they've made, manufactured, developed themselves, this is one of the biggest things to happen since film photography has mounted its comeback. They're basically just a couple folks in the game that are still making color film at this point. And to have another company out there manufacturing color film would just be another level of security, um, would add more competition to the market, hopefully lower prices, and give us more options as film photographers. So all of that, super exciting. But I think it's safe to conclude at this point that something big is coming, and I for one can't wait to see what happens. And a word of caution is in order here. If it isn't a brand new film, if it isn't something big, I think lots of us are gonna be very disappointed and pissed off at Harmon for this really elaborate marketing scheme because we're all talking about it. We're all interested in it. Uh, now, hopefully they deliver something cool. But let me know in the comments, how excited would you be for a brand new color film developed by Harmon? And if you think this video is cool, check out these two potential films that are coming from Film Ferrania. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.